Good morning, Philadelphia Eagles fans, and good morning, NFL fans, to week 11 of the 2017 football season, where this week, our Eagles come off our bye week. We fly down to Dallas to take on the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> now, where to start? Go Eagles. That's right, baby. <laughs> now, about a week, and a week ago, we had played against the number one ranked defense in the Denver Broncos. And what do we hear coming up to that game? The same predictable stuff from the people that have been doubting us all year long about why the Eagles are going to come back down to earth and lose against a, what they consider a really good, if not great, defense. Even with a struggling offense, keeping us to potentially about 13 or 17 points and for Denver to be able to find a way to pull out a victory with no matter who they have at quarterback. And all, all of us that actually watch the game know that's furthest from the truth. It's a little bit of concern that Zach Ertz did not play because of a hamstring injury. And that this is going to be a game that Vitae has to start because Jason Peters is out for the season. And what do we do? We put up 51 points against the best defense in the league. We amount more than 200 yards rushing against the best team in the league. <laughs> we absolutely routed the Denver Broncos here in Philadelphia. Made no excuses for the injuries on our list. It came with another victory and still have the best record in the NFL at 8 1. Carson Wentz, just effective <laughs> in everything they did. Good game planning from our coaches. Getting creative with how to get over the hump with losing Zach Ertz for the game. And Alshon Jeffrey having a two touchdown game and caught those two touchdowns against Talib, one of the best corners in the league. Yeah, we didn't have Zach Ertz. You know what? Trey Burton stepped up. Brent Selleck stepped up. Jason Peters out for the rest of the season. Vitae stepped up. Von Miller quiet until we had our backups in in the fourth quarter. And of course, consistent play by our special teams. Jake Elliott just continues to kick well, except for extra points, but to kick well after Caleb Sturgis went down. So overall, a team victory, which is what we've been celebrating all season long. It's only gonna get better from here. So this week, we play the Dallas Cowboys down in Dallas. And Dallas is dealing with their own injuries this year. You know what I say to that? I say tough. You lost your left tackle with Smith for a couple of games. We lost Jason Peters for the rest of the year. You lost Zeke for four to six games. We lost Darren Sproles for the entire year. And not necessarily saying Sproles is Zeke, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. You lost your middle linebacker, Sean Lee, for a couple games because of a hamstring. We lose Jordan Hicks for the rest of the year. You lost your kicker, at least for a couple weeks. We lost Caleb Sturgis. <laughs> Shoot, we've lost more. We've lost our number one cornerback. At times, we lost one of the best tight ends in the league with Zach Ertz. And we've played the same competition as you guys. Except the difference is, we're not making excuses. Our coaching staff has been creative. We've given help where help is needed. We've shut down people like Von Miller. And our second year quarterback has made little no, no mistakes and done the best with the opportunities that's been given and that's been planned for. And we have a front office with a Howie Roseman that can see certain things coming and we trade for a different running back even when we don't need one. We've done the necessary things to have a complete team and continue to win no matter what. So I don't want to hear the excuses from Dallas fans this year. Not this week. That we didn't have this, the reason why this. Good football teams and great football teams find a way to win and that's what we've been doing all season. And I don't expect that to change. This week, 
when I fly down, yes, you heard that right, when I fly down to Dallas, leave here from Philadelphia on Saturday to get down there and watch a game with my brother firsthand in Jerry's World on Sunday Night Football. But I'm going to end this week with this. I listen to 97.5, Anthony in the morning. And it gets me hyped up, but with this last victory against Denver, we're starting to see a changing of mindset with Philadelphia football here in my city. We have been disappointed in our past. And I've lived through a lot of it. I know I don't look that old, but I, I am. You remember in the early 90s when we had the number one ranked defense that couldn't be stopped. But our offense was not up to par, even with having Randall Cunningham and Chris Carter and Keith Byers and Keith Jackson and Mike Quick. I mean, we couldn't get over the hump and win the whole thing. In the early 2000s, when we would go to championship game after championship game after championship game and have our hearts ripped out by the Rams, by the Bucks, by the Panthers, by Arizona. We can beat the Falcons, but then go to the Super Bowl being favored and lose to the Patriots. We can show flashes of greatness and blow out Washington on a Monday night or comeback victory against the Giants or you name it. We can look the part for a week or two or three for half a season and then fall apart. And we ride and die with our team. And in the past, we've been disappointed over and over again. And a guy called in, a guy said, being an Eagles fan, it's kind of like getting an invitation to a wedding. And showing up to that wedding and seeing an empty parking lot. And when you get up to that door, good morning. Say, go birds. Woo! It says, showing up to that wedding, you get to that door and that door opens on you. And you're greeted by a shotgun. And then get blasted away. And that's what it feels like. We find a way to get it encouraged, enthusiastic, and crazy about our team and about our city. And then we get disappointed at the end. But there's a changing of the guard in our minds now that is occurring in our city. Where this team is no longer disappointing us. They're finding ways to win and they're finding ways to help us be proud of what we're putting on our field and representing who we are as Philadelphians. We're sitting the people that fight no matter what. That yes, we will get knocked down, but we do get back up. We will fight and we'll keep on knocking on that door no matter what. For that one day, and that door opens, and it's finally time for us to celebrate being the best. Go Birds! We're waiting for that day. And we're going to be happy. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep fighting. We're not going to be told no. We're not going to tone it down. We're going to tone it up. Because that's what Philly love is all about. It's not about hating on Dallas, it's not. Dallas, you've made your bed, now you gotta lay on it. You've made decisions about your team and now you gotta face being five and four because of what you did. It has nothing to do with us. We've made our bed and you know what? We've built a solid team that cares about each other. Next man up mentality and we're just winning. And I'm gonna be happy every second about it. At the same time, we're coming. And this, this game this week is not our Super Bowl this year. This is a stop to greatness and what I expect to be a run for our super, first Super Bowl victory. And I gotta have that mindset because I think the best. I'm not gonna think anything less than that because somebody else tells me to do so. I believe in the best. I want the best. I'm willing to do anything for it. Even as a fan, I'm willing to come out here at six o'clock in the morning like a nutcase and encourage my team to bring home victory for a city that's long waited for it. And I'm not the only one. Renee, yeah, this is a shout out to you. You encourage me, you encourage this team. Keep rolling. 
Philly 500, same thing for you. Keep making your videos. I love watching them. I think they're hilarious. It shows your heart. Desert Eagle 90, love your videos too. Lenny Holt, I want to hear a prediction. I want to hear a big prediction. Josh Dickens, keep praying for our team. We keep needing it. Do it week in and week out. All my Philly fans, it's time to change our minds. It's time to maintain our focus on what's really important. Keep it inside of our family and be that light. Saying, yeah, we've been knocked down, but we're back up. Who are knocking on that door? And we're coming to win. And this week, we're knocking on that door down in Dallas. When we take on down the Dallas Cowboys down in Jerry's world this Sunday night. Yeah, everybody deals with injury, so do we do. Zach Ertz, you're coming back. Ronald Darby, you're coming back. Let's put this all together. Let's stomp the Dallas Cowboys and widen that gap in the NFC East and come home with a victory. I can't wait to go down to Dallas and see it firsthand and give you guys a good report on how our Eagles look on a road to victory. Let's do this this week. Let's go Birds. Go Birds!